The world is watching to see how we bring one of the world's best critical minerals discoveries this century online. Loon is a, a very rare intrusive geological system. It's called a carbonatite. There are, are not many carbonatites that have been discovered globally and they host some of the world's best mineral deposits. My name's Paul Sepich and I'm the Managing Director of WA1. The Looney Nobin discovery is about three and a half kilometres east-west by about one and a half kilometres north-south. Looney is extremely flat and that's, that's thanks to this enriched profile that sits below the surface. It's that erosion that's happened at Looney that's upgraded the Looney Nobin resource that has caused a very flat topographic surface out there. Nobium can be found in many places, but what makes Looney truly special is that it's had enrichment processes, geological processes, that has, has upgraded the, the Nobium mineralisation. And that's what makes Looney truly world-class and truly unique. Nobium is an incredibly highly ranked critical mineral, and there's only three mining operations globally, and that's how Nobium supply has been for the last 70 years. Nobium is absolutely essential in major infrastructure projects. It's in the Nobium titanium coil within an MRI machine, which enables it to have the increased resolution and safety that is beyond what we believed was possible only decades ago. Niobium is absolutely essential to decarbonisation. The world's steel industry is 7% of global carbon emissions. A lot of people don't realise that the multi-trillion dollar steel industry is not going anywhere. The only replacement for steel is better steel. Niobium truly is an industry under development. We're finding new applications all the time. And even right here in Western Australia, there are companies that are working on Niobium-based battery technology for mining fleets to decarbonise our very own industry. Never in my wildest dreams did I think it would end up being a world-class Niobium discovery. So I joined WA1 two months after the IPO. And within about five days of joining, I was actually up at a remote community called Balgo completing a heritage survey. My name is Stephanie Ray. I'm the General Manager of Exploration and Geology at WA1. At Looney, we had a very dense gravity anomaly, an eight milligal response. And so the question we went up there looking to answer, what was causing that gravity response? We were not finding what we were, had expected, but what we were intersecting was a very reactive horizon, and it wasn't always very apparent what was causing the response. Clay and sand was coming out of the hole. We were looking, though, for a dense material, and it wasn't until about a depth of 120 metres in one instance that we actually came across the sap rock horizon. And that horizon was maybe the first indication that we had a carbonate-rich rock. The chips were fizzing, and so that was indicative that we had something different and a prospective horizon to target. We had a you know, very limited budget for that first drill program, and it was, it was very much make or break. We knew we had one go, and fortunately we, we had some success. We were in a great IPO market when we started that process, and by the time we got to the point of listing it, the IPO market had fallen away from us, so it was a real challenge to get it across the line. Finally got across the line thanks to some friends and family who put some extra money in and got out there to, to do the drill program. So we listed uh, about two and a half years ago, and we listed with a $9 million market cap. We had about $4.5 million in the bank. We knew that the chance of success was, was, was low, and you always do. It's a, it's, you need a bit of luck on your side. Sure, you make some of your own luck, but then you, you also need, need, need some, some additional help. So we had seven RC holes, we were drilling three targets, uh, and we had a great success rate. We hit two carbonatite, genuine carbonatite intrusions in that. Uh, Looney had three holes uh, that went into it, so almost half the program. It took us many months to really uh, understand that we had an enrichment of niobium at Looney. We probably had more accountants working on this discovery than, than geologists at a lot of times through it. It wasn't until the assay results started to be returned uh, in the two to three months thereafter that it highlighted there was niobium um, uh, enrichment uh, values in the assay results. We've been operating in the Western Winter for a bit over a decade now. A lot of that passion and drive to be out there was the traditional owners who have let us go out and explore their land. We've had a, a commitment to them. They want to mine on their land and that's what's driven us to, to stay out there. And Looney's an amazing opportunity for us to deliver on our commitment to them. This is a really small, very, very valuable deposit that has, a, has the opportunity to transform lives out in the, in the remote communities. And that's a really exciting part about what we're, what we're out there for. The work that we've completed since the discovery holes has been relentless. We've had a mindset of continuous improvement. We're just trying to be better than what we were yesterday. This is a once in a generation no been discovery and we've been fortunate enough to, to, to make it. Making a discovery is great, 
but it's everything you do after that that really matters. We've pulled together a, a maiden resource estimate at Looney. We now have what we believe is a processing solution. And so now the world is watching to see how WA1, the state, the industry brings online one of the world's best critical mineral discoveries of this century.